Striding in, Matt Antonelli. Hey, what's going on everyone? How we doing? We're back with another episode of Road to the Show. It's been a while. It might not feel like a while for you because I recorded a bunch of videos before I left. I went on vacation for 10 days, went down to Florida with my family to see my wife's father, spend Thanksgiving with him, and also just get out of this freezing cold weather and into the nice warm sun. And boy, was it beautiful down there. 80 plus degrees every single day, going to the beach, going to the pool. Oh, it was amazing. Now I'm back. It's freezing cold. It's like 30 something degrees here. Um, but it's okay because we're headed to Reno. And uh, Reno, hopefully, it'll be a little bit warmer there. Anyways, it's been a while since I've played. I haven't played. I went to Florida for 10 days, right around 10 days. Um, and so I haven't played in about 10, 11 days, okay? I just got back, and I'm going to get into it now. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see. We'll see if the long layoff helps me rake or um, I go for 20. I don't know. But we're playing Reno here. Uh, let's see. Nothing crazy. I'm hitting in the three holes still. I got Doug back behind me again. Beautiful. Last episode, I gave Doug a really hard time. I'm sorry about that, Doug. I won't let that happen again today. Tomorrow, maybe. But today, I'm going to be nice to you for, for today, okay? Let's go play the game. All right. So, um, I've had a lot of time. You know, while I was relaxing on the beach, I was reading through some of my comments. And, uh, I know a lot of people saying my agent's going to call me here in May. At some point at the end of May. Hopefully he does. We'll see though. We'll see how I do over the next couple of weeks here. Before, uh, I, I get if I still have an agent. I don't know. I haven't talked to the guy in forever. Apparently he only talks to people that hit over 600. He hit over 400, doesn't want to talk to you. You got to hit over 600. <sighs> Anyways, uh, franchise mode while we're waiting here. Franchise mode, I don't know if you guys have been watching. I've got a video coming up soon, guys. My team is unbelievable. If I don't win the World Series this year, I'm going to be disappointed. Wait till you see this team. Should be uploading that here in another day or so. 410 with 14, 31, and 20 bags. All right. Let's power swing. I told, this is the longest I've ever, I've ever gone um, in between days playing this game, so... Hopefully I remember the buttons. Wind's blowing in a little bit. Guys, got a cutter, a slider, a change of a curve. Let's take one just... It's going to pick over. Let's take one pitch here just to get back into um, rhythm here a little bit. I usually tell hitters, you got to go up, ready to hit the first pitch. Don't just take a pitch just to take it, but I'm going against my advice. Okay. A little cutter. 90 miles an hour. Good pitch, slider down. Hurt my wrist on that one. Got my Padres hat on today. I've been wearing this for my franchise mode videos, but figured I'd throw it on today. I haven't worn it. And a road to the show. Balls hit hard right at him. He's going to beat it out. No, he's not going to beat it out. Thought I was going to beat it out there because of the really slow power feed right there. So no runs on one base hit. Coming to the plate now. All right, we got two outs. We got to left the up. We're going to get some depth here. We got to keep it in. Got to knock it down. Got to dive no matter what. Keep it in the infield. Keep the runner from second scoring. And I don't think that one's got the distance. I got it. I got it. I got it. Go cover first, dude. Get out of my way. Matt, you're acting like that. It was strange. The ball was hit right to me. All right, guys liking his cutter. He was down in the zone a lot last at bat. And he goes up in the zone. Good. He's pitching well. We're working into the middle innings right now, but this is when he's really going to have to bear down when you start going through that lineup. That Balls hit hard right at him. 421. Another huge park. The ball was smoked into the wind. Tapia is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Well, two good at bats after the long layoff. Don't have anything good to show for it, but hit the ball hard both times. Two. What? Oh, it's behind him. Good hustle, though, Matt. I like it. 
Two outs again. This guy's hitting 068. I'm going to play this way. He's probably a little slap guy. No, I'm going to stand right here. He's going to try to hit in this little four hole right here. Goes. Oh, no. No, Matt. Oh, my God. Matt plays it into a backhand play because a routine is too easy for him. It's the same guy. It's the same guy. Come on. Throw me a cutter right here. Yep. There it was. Get up, ball. Get up, ball. Get up. Yeah. Throw me that little cutter right there. Big homer. It's a two run shot to straight away left. 110 miles an hour off the bat. And Matt knows people in Reno. Haston, hit the weight room. Guy looks like Jose Altuve. Man, he's kicking himself after that pitch. As soon as it left his hand. Oh my! Don't throw the cutter there. Oh, it's a slider. Same thing. Ooh, I got another at bat this game, too. Oh, they're bringing in the lefty to face me. That was right through the wind, too. Guy's got a sinker, slider. Uh, he's got a sinker. See the ball up, Matt. Yep, see it up. Run, Matt. Guy's running out to give the third baseman a new pair of shorts. And to trust what you will grab his shorts? I really don't want to touch him. him through this. No? You? Okay. Someone? Digging in, Doug Johnson. Oh, God, Doug. Did he just say a hit streak is riding on the line? Is that what he just said? I wish I could rewind this. There's no chance. It's tough to get a hit. Oh, sorry, Doug. Sorry. I said I was going to be nice to you, Doug. All right, base is loaded. Right here, I'm telling the guys, hey, got to be back in a line drive. Cannot get doubled off on a line here. You know what, Doug? At least you swung, okay? I'm proud of you, buddy. Guys, I'm asking for a gaming chair for Christmas also. I actually asked for the new Apple Watch, but I'm going to ask for a gaming chair. Jeez, John! We got a strikeout and a pop out with the bases loaded. Good thing Brian's going to come through here. All right, here we go. 3 0. He better not swing at this. 3 0, bases loaded. This is automatic take, Gil. Good boy. All right. Now I got to get a good jump here. I have to score in a hit. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Slide, slide. I'm not sliding. Why would I slide? They're going a second. Oh, this is a game that never ends. Got it. On a look to the second baseman, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. I wanted to throw it the third there. They didn't let me throw it. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid. All right, good game. Two for four. The key is they didn't panic the Let's go right into the next game, guys. Also, I'm going to start doing shout-outs again. I know I've been really bad at that lately. Um, but I'm going to get back into shout-outs. Not today, sorry everyone, not today, but we will get back into doing them. All right, four seam curveball, change up, two seam and slider. No, Matt. A lot of people were also saying, like, Matt, just sim till you get called up. Like, we've seen enough of the minors or whatever. No, no, no. I've played this long. I am not simming to get there. Like, I've been playing this game for 40 something episodes. You think at this point now I'm going to be like, oh, let's just sim and take the easy way out? No, no, no. This is like the real minor leagues. There is no simming, okay? You've got to grind your way through it. 
first two games, all right, you can live with dropping the third game of the set. That away, stay on that breaking ball. I think I'm going to tell my grandkids, like, yeah, guys, I uh, I grinded my way so hard through the minors, and then uh, then I got tired, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to sim my way to the big leagues. There is no simming your way to the big leagues. Come on, Doug. Swing the bat, please. Well, I still don't remember how to steal, guys. Sorry, I, I could not wait. I couldn't sit there and watch Doug strike out again. Oh, two outs. Back up, Matt. I got you at second. I'll be there. I'm there. Two, two, two. I'm here. Oh, my God, Matt. What the hell are you doing? Stepping in and ready for another shot. For the Tapia, as we move the on to the bottom fielder. of inning number three. Right to me. My positioning is excellent. As much as they can moving into the later innings. All right, let's go here. One for one. Guy threw me a little doo doo curveball. Nanny threw me a fastball that I just tattooed. Gone. See ya. See ya, ball. Yeah. Throw your hat. So a solo shot here to left center field. Home run number 16 for him on the year as it's now a 3 2 ball game. Good luck, Doug. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home I mean, how that ball went 420 whatever feet, I don't know with that swing, but Jeez. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Get me out of here. And Mr. Mr. Lady. Get me out of here. Coming to the plate now, Xavier Gomez. All right. You know, the, another interesting thing. I, I did have a lot of time, like I said, on the beat. Oh, here comes a bunt. Trying to go for a double. Not going to work. A lot of time to read comments on a lot of my videos. It's funny. I did a lot of, not a lot, but I did a couple of videos on the Astros, you know, sign stealing thing. And, uh, man, some people, like... You would think that they like own the Astros. Some people were like screaming at me on there. People were, like looking at my stats from when I played, tell me I'm a bum and a bust and I stink and go get a life. And I'm like, geez, people. Like, I don't know why YouTube brings out so much anger in people. Like, I've never personally gone onto someone's page and just been like, you stink, you're the worst. I hate you. Like, people do that on. In my comment section. Really strange. We're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do. This guy's still in again. And win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. First pitch of the at bat. Check swing. No, we didn't. Held up in time. Ball one. Oh no, get in there. Bloop, 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 bloop. Got too much juice. I can't even bloop a ball in there. Alright, four seam splitter. Get on the four seam, huh? Oh boy, if he throws me another four seam, I could see this thing going out of the park too. That's a straight four seamer. And a strike to that was more of a cutter than a splitter. He likes to be up in the zone. Does he come back with a little splitter slash cutter? No, two seam. Good pitch. Here now the two two. No, Matt. What the hell was that, Matt? Jesus. Ball almost hit me. Return to the clubhouse, guys. Wow, well, it's still two for four. How things have changed over my career, guys.
I used to think two for four was like the greatest thing of all time. Now I get disappointed two for four. Ah, my stealing decreased. What do you know? Back to Salt Lake City. Where are we? We're in the middle of May. Okay. Plate vision, plate discipline. What's this? Contact. Oh, that increases my cap. This gives me plus one. Um, I still don't understand this. Like, I don't want to increase my cap. I want to increase the actual attribute, but I don't know. Why doesn't Doug ever want to talk to me? Come on, Brian. Gil is feeling great about his recent hitting performance. Great. You've been on a tear lately. Keep it up. It's been a big help to the team. You've been hitting the cover off the ball lately, my dude. Keep it up. What's giving you the extra oomph? Lucky shirt. <laughs> You're looking insanely locked in at the plate, Brian. Stay away from Doug. Don't talk to him. Don't even look at him. That should have been number five on here. But uh, let's see. Heart and soul. I don't know why I always like picking heart and soul. I'd like to see what the relationship... Oh, my. Oh, my God, guys. Holy hell, Jeff. John, sorry. Forgot your name for a second. Just checking in, Matt. How are things for you there? Well, they could be better, John. What's the issue? Uh, do I say I want a promotion or I just wish I was with another organization? I want out of here. We need to be patient and let things develop, Matt. We can't be making demands right now. Hang in there and let's both keep working to get you where you want to go. John, you haven't done absolute you-know-what for me, okay? You haven't called me and then you call me and then I, I voice my frustrations and you tell me to shut up? And then Andres decides to move me at the four hole because why? Because I've gotten too many hits in the three hole. He thought it'd be a better idea to put Steve there. He's hitting 198. Uh, I'm surrounded by greatness here. I got 198 above me and 185 below me. Minor League Baseball is live and on the and, uh, air on the show. Yo. Coming up, we've... Okay, who's throwing a lefty? Adalberto Mejia. Well, I'm about to take you deep, Aldalberto. They're booing me already. I just got here. They're booing me. Wind's blowing out to the left. Good pitch right there. I thought that was a changeup. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just... No, Matt, no. Yes, Matt, yes. Oh, that guy's nervous about my speed. He came up firing right there. Get six hits over the next three games? I can do that. Now they put Doug's OPS before his average to trick you, make you think he's hitting 486. He probably asked that. Runners on the move for second, and he won't have to contend with a throw as that misses for ball four. Doug walked. It's a miracle. Batting fifth. The first now to the plate, number John 55. Hicks, and he's carrying John a batting average of just Hicks. over 300. So clearly he's. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Find the ball! Find the ball! Find the ball! Find the ball. Find the ball. Five, and he knocks it down. A play at the plate. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So Shoot! I was holding up the whole time, but I accidentally slid in the third. Or. 
They always said they'd rather, if you're going to make a mistake, they'd rather you make it aggressive and not passive. I really took that to heart, guys. They always said that. We'll never yell at you if you make an aggressive mistake. <laughs> All right, here's how the visitors are lining up. Coming to the plate now, Adam Barreto. And he can give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Ground out to second. Throw to first is in time for the first down. All right. I just got tired all of a sudden. Into the box now. Booing me again. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. And Danelli. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Balls entirely off the plate. Take that, Mejia. Go pick up my bat. I just broke the Boys and Girls Club sign. Four hundred and sixty-nine feet. The ball was still going up when it hit the Boys and Girls Club. These people were booing me a second ago, and now I'm their best friend. I know people in Salt Lake City. Doug. Oh! Home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo top hitters in the lineup. I'm the top hitter in the world. It's a horrible swing again. Digging in and looking for the batter. And then bringing in a righty. This guy should just hit me, honestly. First pitch of the at bat. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Hermosillo ranging back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he is in. The guy the just has ridiculous power to every part of the ballpark. He's not going to complain, but get six hits over your next game. It should have been. Left his bat. Home run number two. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with a double. Ah. Just missed. Once again, Doug the Johnson. He got the on right top field. of one and was a ground Doug. out victim last time. Johnson. And that finds the target. Balls right down the middle, Doug. Sears benefits from the fact that he throws a lot of strikes, doesn't walk many batters. How well, that's bad news for Doug. You can only get on if you walk him. That's one of the keys when you're managing a guy like this. If he's on, you're going to see him. Good read, Matt. And when he's not. He's more prone to giving up base hits, so you have to have the bullpen ready if it's one of those days. All right, got to get a good jump here. Got to score. Two outs. Here comes the first oh, my pitch. God, that was a slow leg kick. I'm stealing, guys. Please do that leg kick again. Don't swing. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. And to me, they just can't let guys get lead like that, especially knowing that the guy behind the plate isn't known for his arm. Come on, Hicks. 2-0 pitch. He should be coming unglued right here. Heading out toward shallow is there. And the Wait to hustle, Matt. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors in a in a man left. Home run, double, and single. I need a triple, guys. I'm not stopping, no matter what. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Oh. One and one. One ball, one strike. Runners on first and third, two away. That's no ball. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All right, now you got to come to me. Last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. And he can't the last the ball thing he wants to do is let me hit one off the boys and girls club sign again. Situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on, 
He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And this is down at the knees, but I give it to him. He should have. That's a makeup call for the last one. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call, and this manager he didn't like. Oh, he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. Man, that was my pitch. I was so late on that. Popped him up. Lorenz has a play. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, so two yeah. runs come. Ah, oh, darn it. Coming via the solo home run. Leading off. Leading off the, the inning, Jamie Lorenz. The first baseman. And they'll need him to get Jamie. something going here. Oh. Doesn't oh, look very promising oh. so far in this one. It's Come on, way blue. The later innings, down by a bungle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. And they're down. All right, two outs. Going to push in this hole again. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. not looking too good for them right now. Good Matt, way. they've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one back. I'm, a couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Antonelli is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here. On oh, yeah, I thought I was going to get up again. To one, Try to hit my triple. Score. The isotopes get the win on the heels of four home runs. All right, let's see how long I've been recording, guys. I'm not sure. Ah, 26 minutes, huh? Let's play another game. There hasn't been a whole lot of crazy stuff that's happened other than a lot of home runs. I thought maybe I'd be, you know, a little rusty, but not the case. Felix Pena will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Leading hey man, this guy keeps his team in a ball the ball game. He's won two of his last yeah. three starts, so he's been throwing three. the ball really well. And one of the keys for this guy... You know, Lara was actually saying, guys, that she might make an appearance on here. I don't know what got into her. I'm not sure. Maybe she likes her tan she got down in Florida. I don't know. Wind's blowing out. Oh, boy. Oh, man, that's down. No. Back up the middle. Lewis has it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. Also, I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. Lara told me not to tell anyone this. If you go on my video, my last video that I put up, um, I think it was number eight of franchise mode. Whatever the last franchise mode video is, someone in the comment section put a link. To an old video of mine that I made a long time ago, and Laura is actually in that video. I watched it today, and then she was like, "What are you watching?" It's uh, the video. I'm not sure what year the video was from. Uh, it was a while ago. I weigh about 30 pounds. You'll be able to see. I weigh like 30 pounds more in it because I'm still obviously playing at this point. If you want to see what Lara looks like, go to that franchise franchise mode video, number eight, I believe it is. Go down into the comment section, not too far down, and somebody put the link to that video. Click on the link there. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Matt. last time. Antonelli. First pitch coming, here it is. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to... All right, I got to zone back in here. Come on. Action on that two -seam fastball. No, Matt! I yelled before I even swung. Just one hit of base for both of these clubs. A swing mm. and a miss mm -mm -mm -mm. This guy's got me right now. I'm struggling. Struggling picking up the ball. I don't know what's going on. Striding forward now is the DH. Leading up for the B. He flew out in his last All right, I got to really lock it in here. I need to hit this game. 
downfield. That's his way on as he gets this one down. Hicks comes up with it. And he'll stay nice bunt, buddy. For the out, three Hustle through the bag, Mejia. You know, he had a good idea. So coming to the plate, number 19. He leads Leading off on. the bottom for of the, the fifth as they look to break through. Jimmy, what's going on? For the first time in this one. Yeah, I can't believe I'm in this league still also. I'll get you my autograph afterwards, Jimmy. I can't do it in the middle of the game. They start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Digging in now, Adam Barreto comes into this at bat. for one in the ball game. Adam Barreto. Three one. Two. Quick. Go one. Throw behind him. Wow. Wow, what a play right there. Okay, I got to see the ball up. Everything's been down. That was up. Another field that's 420. What is going on with all these fields? Oh my gosh. I am tired. That trip took, it, took a lot out of me. I don't know how many of you have kids, but honestly, at the end of the vacation, I said uh, to Laura, I said, geez, Laura, we really need a vacation after this vacation. Oh, no. Anyone that has kids will know what I'm talking about. That was the pitch right there. I don't know what I'm doing. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Throw me another one of those four seamers right down the middle. I'm going to take this off the batter's eye. That's down, Matt. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. It's one of them days. So now it'll be the four All right, good. That guy's out of here. Oh, this guy's got an interesting delivery. Oh, man, I could be the hero right here. I don't know what happened. What has happened? I pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place nope. it a little above it, they yeah, can guys. a barrel up there. Boo! And this is taken in for out number one. Sorry for anyone wearing headphones. I'm trying to scare a second baseman and first baseman. Whoever the hell caught that on. I'm falling asleep here, apparently. I'm not paying attention anymore. Like His heads are falling off. Well, that was a horrendous way to end the game. Good day overall, though. Good day. I don't know what to do next, guys. My agent called. Nothing. I mean, my adjusted overall is an 86 with my equipment on them, like a 2,000. Ah, oh, boy. I mean, I'm the greatest second baseman of all time in our organization. They're still going with the same thing here. I mean, Tim Anderson's hitting 293 with five. Trevor Story's hitting 186 with seven. I mean... I just don't understand it. I mean, put me at a different position. Do something. I don't know, guys. All I do know is that I'm not Simmon. All right? I don't care how damn long it takes. I ain't Simmon.